Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to give you a professional AI prompt that will allow you to easily create any custom function in Excel that you need. Here I've got a clean phone function that will make uh, this phone number here very easily. Uh, this nicely formatted phone number over here. And we could use this function to create nicely formatted numbers for invoices that we automatically send out with the click of a button. But the point isn't that you're going to be able to create the clean phone function like this. You will be able to create whatever you need to, your own custom function in Excel. It's a beautiful professional prompt that I'm going to go through shortly. I'll take you from creating the prompt to getting the VBA code to installing the function in your workbook. And once you understand the whole process, it'll take you mere minutes to do it yourself. I promise. Now, if you'd like to learn more about Excel, we have many wonderful courses on teachexcel.com and an AI course coming soon. I'll put links to those below the video. Check them out. We have thousands of happy customers and look forward to seeing you on Teach Excel. To start off, let's take a look at our AI prompt. There are only a few steps here. We get the prompt set up correctly. We input it into AI, we get a working function back, then we input it into Excel. And with this AI prompt, the only thing that you have to change is the task description section. Uh, this stuff right here. The first thing is, what do you want to call your new function? Uh, that's what you put right there. Uh, then, in nicely formatted, clear, easy to understand bullet points like this, say exactly what it should do. Remove everything except digits from a phone number. If it finds 10 digits, display them as this right here in this format. If it finds 11, starting with a one, display them like this. If the number does not match those rules, return only digits. Try to keep this as logical as possible. What you are doing is in plain text saying exactly what the code should do. You can have as many bullet points as you need. Just make sure that they are clear and concise. And that's actually all you have to change in this prompt. Now I'm going to quickly go over the rest of the prompt, but you can download this prompt for free on teachxl.com. There's a link to it below the video. All you do is go to Teach Excel, sign up for the free account, download this, copy, paste it, and change the task description as needed. Now let's start at the top. You actually don't need to include this AI prompt to create a VBA custom function for Excel. That's just saying what this prompt is going to do. Where it really starts is here. Telling the AI you are an expert VBA programmer. Create a Microsoft Excel VBA custom function that performs the following task. Our task, then how it should write the code and requirements. You probably don't need to change this at all. Write the complete VBA code for the function. Include clear comments explaining how the function works. Very helpful. Ensure the function can be used directly in a worksheet cell. Example equals clean phone A1. Now, even though that name here is this name here, you should not need to change it down here. There are so many different AIs that maybe for one or two, you do need to update this. But this is just an example to say, hey, I wanna make sure it works like a normal function. So you should be good leaving it as it is. Now for four, make the code easy for a user to modify later if they want to change formatting rules. Now that's in there, but we are still dealing with VBA. So if you don't know VBA, it's absolutely not going to be easy to change. In that case, you need to take the full VBA course on teachexcel.com. It's usually on sale. And even though it takes a week or two to get through the course, once you've done it, You'll be able to streamline your workflow, edit any functions or macros or VBA that you need to, such as what is going to be created here. It really makes your life easy. So for the AI, it's going to get us almost all the way there until the moment we have to change something <laughs> in the code itself, at least. Now for output format, this is just saying, hey, how do I want you to return the value to me? What you respond with? Well, return only the complete VBA code inside a single code block. So download this prompt, change the task description, then go to your AI. Paste the full prompt in here and hit enter. It's going to end up looking like uh, this. We have the full prompt right over here. 
and then the response. Only the VBA. I love it. No filler words, just what we need. Once you have the function, go to copy code, click that. Then back to Excel, Alt F11. That'll take you to the VBA window. I've already got the function in here, but let's pretend it was not. We go to insert, module, paste it in, and there you go. And I love all these comments. The rules, it just says exactly what the function is going to do. We typed that into the prompt. It's pretty much just repeating that. Now this might not always look the same when you run this prompt. AI guessed that this should be the format of the comments. If you want it to be like this every single time, then you need to be explicit about that and use this as an example within the AI prompt itself that says, hey, for each function you create, I need a comment above it that is in this format and contains this information. And then we have the code, but that's it. We don't have to do anything else. Back in the worksheet, we are ready to use the new function, clean phone. Easy peasy. Download the prompt, change the task description, and get your Excel function custom made for you in just minutes. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give us a subscribe, hit the bell icon, and a thumbs up. It will really help us out. And if you know any coworkers that could benefit from this, go ahead and share it with them. But that's all. Make sure to check the links below the video so you can get this prompt and check out our Excel courses. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one.